And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Never Glade Prankster. Gonna be our next deck. Got a new one here. Um, we are putting together a Phantom Prankster. Whenever another ally dies, deal one to the enemy nexus. And Never Glade Co Collector. Whenever another ally dies, drain one from the enemy nexus. So we're gonna, gonna combine both of those cards and just play a deck where we're gonna have a lot of allies die and just try to get as many triggers and just be aggressive and attacking and just sending swarms of attackers at our opponent and they have to either take the damage or block them and, and kill ours and whenever they kill them we'll get these triggers so we got lots of spiders um you know with elise to be able, and trying to level up elise um but then you know we also have like ravenous butcher that can kill some allies for us we got a couple of last breath things um, but something kind of interesting that we're going to go with it in this deck also is Maokai. It's not like, it's not about the level up at all. I don't care about like tossing and trying to level up Maokai. It's all about the sapling because, you know, we can play a Maokai and then play another ally and we get a sapling and every turn we can get one of these two, one ephemeral saplings. They can challenge to, um, make my opponent's blocks even more difficult. Uh, but then also they're just going to be dying every single turn. Get a new creature, it dies, trigger our prankster and collector. Also going to be trying out this spicy one. Going to try a Shunpo. I know it's slow, but I want to try it. So we're going to try, we're going to try a Shunpo, deal two to an enemy unit, then rally. Because there's going to be times like where, especially with having Maokai and Caretaker and all these spiders, there's going to be times like where our board's just kind of full and we can't really do anything else with like the other stuff in our hand. So maybe we need an extra attack step. And so that's what the Shun Po is going to be in the deck for. Um, who knows if it'll be good or not, but we're going to we're gonna try it. We're going to see. All right, Neverglade Prankster. I forgot to do this part. Let's go to the Cursed Ruins and Shadow Isles. And our Basilisk has been treating us really well. We'll keep the Basilisk. Whoops. Uh, emotes. We need this one. For whenever we challenge. Alright, let's play some games. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked. Ooh, we're really close. We're one win away from ranking up. Correct. You have to be able to, you have to do two damage to a unit and then rally. You can't if your if your opponent has no units, you can't cast on Poe. Yeah, I don't have any shark chariots in here. Maybe we should. I mean, it's just the yeah, it's just the saplings to bring them back. We did go with the Maokai aggro yesterday with the shark chariots, and that game, that deck was awesome. That really looked good, like with the uh, shark the shark chariots and Maokai. Well, this hand is ugly. So let's look at a new one. Wow. These hands are ugly. The thing I do like about the shark is that when you have Prankster and Neverglade Co Collector, when you have those two cards in uh, in play, you're not you're not wanting to attack with them, so they can kind of fill up your battlefield. So being able to attack with other things. And it bring sharks into place. It still lets you go even, you know, as wide as you can. That is nice. And we may end up um, finding out that it's not worth it to play. Um, that's not worth it to play Maokai, even with the extra bodies, because of that. Because we start just filling our side with too many things that can't attack or block. You love that Maokai and Nautilus actually feel like tanks. 
right, if I play one of these one mana cards, then I don't get to Brood Awakening next turn. I'm going to just save the mana. And Brood Awakening. Man, now I want to Elise. If we Elise, we can also Conservator and Aristocrat. We're going to do that now. Basically a mirror match. Obviously, I, I like trading these for those, but I like trading those whenever we have Collector in play. So I'm going to save these here, wait till we have Collector, and then start trying to trade. All right, opponent's force in our hands. Unfortunately. Yep, yep, they're playing They Who Endure as their finisher. Um. All right, yeah. Uh, let's see. This the Maokai aggro we played yesterday. If you said you said Maokai feels terrible to you, I recommend watching this video and watching these games because it really won us so many games and it it got so much value throughout that whole league. Really recommend checking that out. So I could go Brood Awakening to try to level up Elise, but maybe they have Withering Whale to respond. I'm gonna get Maokai in play so that then I can play Collector next turn. Get the Sapling and kind of go from there. How do we even draw this reckoning? Mage Seeker Conservator. Created it. Never mind. Figured it out. You accepted what became of us. What was I supposed to do? I assume they're going to do some kind of uh, blocking. I want them to, because I want to fervor kill Elise. Maybe I shouldn't, though. So Elise flips... I could also just save this to be three damage up here. Patience. No, we just need to kill Elise. Yeah, we just have to kill Elise. Got to. So 
Basically, the only thing that can kill us is they who endure. Or pack mentality? I guess, or pack mentality? Can that kill us? All these things have overwhelm, okay. So we're at twenty, so two, four, six, eight. Nine. They're dead. So young. GG's. Never glade. We're still at twenty. <laughs> Isn't that a feels bad when you cast like your your big overwhelm on like all these spiders and turn ends and just you taking lethal and the other person still being at 20 after combat? All right, we are up to diamond. Rank him back up to the east side. Neverglade looked really powerful there that game. Sure did. But I liked those free bodies that Maokai was giving us and the challenger and everything. So. so one game in. It worked. Misfortune Quinn. Like reasonable hand. Could get rid of Skitter and look for something to do on turn two, because this is basically three drop, three drop, three drop. So yeah, maybe I should have got rid of Skitter. Whoa, CDN dude! Saying congrats on the diamond, gifting out five subs. Hitting our sub goal today. Six out of five, and that means I'm actually going to, uh, or here, we'll, we'll mark it as six out of ten. We're going to carry over that sub for tomorrow, at the very least. Get out of here, tracker. Awesome, so we got some new subs. New Bloco, Daedalu, Scrub Lord, Kelso, and Marpaletti. Joining the sub club. Awesome. Thank you so much there, CDN dude. Thank you. Badger bear. Badger, 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 badger. It's just a badger and a saxophone. I assume they're going to kill my, my, uh, they want to kill my prankster, so let's go with this to keep them from killing the prankster. Just leave me alone! 
All right, not blocking there because it's it's three. It's going to be four later. Well, hmm, maybe I do block. I want to have both pranksters in play for him, but I guess we we need to clear up room for all these spiders. So we are all right. We're blocking. Hmm. See what we draw before we make our discard decision. I don't like them challenging my prankster. I don't like that. I'll hunt them where they breed. All right. Well, that prankster definitely did. All these pranksters are just going to die to challengers. Do I discard a prankster? I guess so. They should just go scout, attack, kill that. The hunt is on. No fear. My plan is still to play the prankster. That's my plan. And so I wanted to use the skitter <clears throat> to protect said prankster. I am glad they attacked with everything, honestly. <clears throat> glad they attacked with everything. Hey, <laughs> yeah. The board space limit is is kind of an issue for our deck, that's for sure. Our deck would be really strong if it wasn't for that, though. And to keep it in check somehow. eight. I mean, six. Oh, I don't have mana.
Yuck. Loyal Badger Bear. Maokai would be nice. How much damage are they doing if I 10, 9, 19? Like with another attack. So I definitely need to block the 6 to make sure that I don't take lethal. Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, so if I would have sacked the other thing instead of the 03, I would have dealt one point of damage. That's true. That is true. Every point of damage does matter in this deck. Phantom Pranksters aren't so good against these Demacia Challengers being an 3 So we kind of learned here. Need need like the two fours instead of the Maokais. My true beauty is beneath the skin. Yeah, and I think I think the you can summon as much as you want. Um, thing from MTG also, I think that, you know, it's obviously from, from a previous time, like before, no uh, pay. No pay. you know, before like online gaming and stuff, but that also makes it so you can't really play magic on like mobile, for example, cause you can't, you just can't have infinite things on like a phone it just doesn't, doesn't work. Alright, so that was a rough game. Um, the Butcher looked horrible. But no, no Maokai. I want some Maokai. It's a Neverglade Collector. Those two cards were awesome the first game. Didn't have either of those this game. <clears throat> Alright, a victory... Lucian deck. Why do I have Ravenous Butcher in my deck? Why is it so bad?
Bright Steel Protector. What am I doing? I need to just kill that thing right away. Oh, of course they have Bright Steel Protector. I was thinking, oh, they'll, they'll display another creature. They'll display another creature. This will be a 2-1. Then we'll Vile Feast it. Um, <laughs> my plan doesn't work against Bright Steel Protector, and they obviously have that. So. That was dumb. A tribute to the Spire God. Head to the base. That was the card that punished me. No one goes hungry. We'll be fine, though. Corruption everywhere. Safeguard our citizens. Shut it down. Hey, Ravenous Butcher, you did something. Good job, Ravenous Butcher. Get that thing out of here. No! Why does the opponent have all the blowouts? <laughs> all the blowouts. Hey, Marpaletti's, yeah, 12 hours going good. Going good. Looks like maybe a little less than 12. I don't know. We got, we got four more decks to play. So, you know, we're at, you know, another, like, four hours or so. So, it'll be, yeah, be a little over 11 hours, probably. But yeah, everything's going good here. All right, well, if I want to keep Maokai alive, spoiler, I do. Going to have to do this. Press on. That egg. Did it move? Yeah, Demacia is pretty strong. It is, it is. Ooh. All right, we need to get this Neverglade collector in play. What became of us? What was I supposed to do? Start draining. Soldiers to me. Um, that's a huge problem. That's a huge problem. I don't have I don't have things to block. Five, nine, fourteen. GG. Great hand, you know, that's just great hand. No one goes hungry. You know, turn three, you know, after War Chefs into Tracker plus Bright Steel Protector on turn three, and then Bannerman on four, and then Badger Bear. And then Sithria, you know, like I, I know those are the cards in their deck, but you know, it's a, it's a really hard card, really hard curve to beat. And I played into the Bright Steel Protector. That was the, that was a, a real big uh, killer. I think our deck is like too spidery and not enough sacrifice-y. We need more crappy one drops that are easy to sacrifice to the butcher, I feel like, and like cursed keeper and that kind of stuff. Do we not have wait? Do we not have Okay. Yeah, like, we need, like, the two mana make three ephemerals. I, ju I just assumed I had that in here. I guess I don't. Why is that not in my deck?
No. No, I cut the I cut the two mana make two two make two two twos, not make t not make three one ones. There's never the three mana I just assumed that that card was also in there. There was the two mana make two 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 ephemerals and I cut those for Maokai. Alright, so I think this deck can be further optimized. See, like, this is great. That's not. Well, at least <clears throat> at least they didn't take out like my brood awakening. My Alright, get a lease out of here. Don't give them that spider. This deck's pretty bad. I gotta lie, this this deck's pretty bad. This card is horrendous. First of all. This, this deck is not very good. What a tangled web. Right, we'll, we'll play one more. Um, I feel like we have two good cards in our deck. Like, Neverglade is good and Maokai is good. And I feel like the rest of it's not very good. And of course, Elise can do some stuff. But... This this deck we can make this a lot better. Need to focus less on 
spiders. I, I kind of modified somebody else's version of this, and this is this is not good. Um, we need to focus a lot less on spiders and a lot more on uh, things dying. And burn. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, just playing Noxus for just this card. I could definitely see playing PNZ, playing Boom Crew Rookie and Casket Salesman. And a couple of burn spells, absolutely. I I really like the Neverglade Collector. I um, I've been very impressed with this card. Come closer. I don't so fight. I think that I think that Collector plus Prankster Gosh. has some potential. But the deck I'm playing is not very good, and I'm sorry. Alright, let's go with Maokai. Start playing our good cards. Everywhere. Boo. Sorry. We only have a couple of good cards. You can't kill them. That's not how it works. So I went to I went to play the Neverglade Collector first, and then uh, Butcher kill the Aristocrat. Um, you, you know, get get the Collector trigger after that. Come on. Now we don't get to make another sapling to challenge as Elise. And two, they had two mana deal. There's nothing to fear. Two mana deal three damage to kill my Maokai. That was sad.
So I can't block any of those things because of the Elise. Yeah, like like Arachnid Horror, like this Arachnid Horror. This is not an Arachnid Horror deck that we're playing, for example. Okay. Okay, Sean pose what's up. Sean pose what's up? Too much life gain, too much removal. Ugh. Man, if I keep on killing all my good things. I think there's stuff here. I think our deck is pretty bad. Vi stands for violence. Good thing we won the first one. We won the the important one. We won the first one, uh, <laughs> level you know, ranked up, and then our deck looked pretty bad. So, uh, yeah, like hapless aristocrat was horrible. Ac Arachnid horror very bad. Like even just even skitter honestly. Like this is not. Yeah, like this is. Okay, so basically, we shouldn't be doing the spider stuff. Like, collector Maokai. Um. Prankster, and Elise. Those four cards were good. Everything else in our deck was not good. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say Brood Awakening is fine, and Hapless Aristocrat and Warden's Prey. Like, those cards are good, too. Um, but yeah, we need to be more sacrifice. We need more damage. Um, so yeah, I kind of like... I like uh, basically moving away from all those other cards. Oh, the Caretaker was just fine. Because that's, again, a lot of things dying and also interaction. That's why I like Caretaker. You're like, the saplings are interaction. But we need to have more things that want to die. Um, and have, like, Haunted Relics. I do like Haunted Relics with these. Um, but yeah, I could definitely see splashing PNZ instead of splashing Noxus. Splash PNZ. Play Boom Kuruki, because Boom Kuruki is pretty broken. And then, you know, Mystic Shot, get excited, stuff like that. I like that. Yeah, the spiders were the problem. So even if you want to go away from Brood Awakening, that's fine with me. But the yeah, the spiders weren't great. Um, could yeah, like the spiders were the problem. 
if you want to go away from like Elise is just good because Elise puts multiple bodies into play and everything like Elise is really good but if you want to go away from Elise and play like Callista instead I wouldn't mind that either but yeah the spiders weren't good all right so there we go so there's never glade prankster um yeah so sorry our deck wasn't very good uh <laughs> sometimes we try the new stuff new decks it, it's not um but you know hopefully we learned a lot and for those y'all watching uh later on hopefully you uh learned a good amount and um you know can can apply that and you know maybe you got some other ideas like maybe you know maybe you weren't sure if uh neverglade collector was good or not but it it did certainly look good um, yeah, could, could go Hecarim, Ephemeral with it. Yeah, it could just go, could go, yeah, it could definitely go, yeah, definitely go Ephemeral with the Sharks. Sharks definitely seem, um, like we talked about during, during the videos, the Sharks with, uh, Collector and Prankster, um, really feel good because you don't ever want to attack with Prankster, it's an O3, and you don't want to really attack with your Collector. So that means if you have like one Prankster, one Collector in play, you got four other slots, so you're only attacking with four things. So if you have Shark Chariots that come alongside those, um, that can be pretty valuable. So I definitely like seeing, could definitely see some Shark Chariots with those. The thing about playing Ephemerals and Shark Chariots with these is you have to stay alive. Like that stuff's not really doing that much on defense. So it's how do you stay alive? Um, and the Drain... Drain certainly helps with that, but how do you stay alive against these Demacia decks that attack for 15, 20 at a time? That's the thing. All right, there we go. That's Never Glade Prankster. Again, hope you hope y'all learn stuff, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.